St. Gertrude the Great, or St. Gertrude of Helfta, was born on January 6, 1256. She was a great theologian who chose to pursue a vocation as a Benedictine nun, and her deep relationship with the Lord in prayer led her to being hailed as a mystic. Although little is known about Gertrude's childhood, it is widely accepted that at just four years old she entered the strict Cistercian Monastery School of Helfta in Saxony under the governance of Abbess Gertrude of Hackerborn. Gertrude was placed in the care of St. Mechtilda. She was well known for being very intelligent and very familiar with scripture and works from the Fathers of the Church. In 1281, 25-year-old Gertrude experienced her first series of visions that would continue until the day she passed away. She saw this moment as her new birth, and her priorities turned from secular teachings to scripture and theology. She went on to become one of the great mystics of the 13th century. Along with St. Mishtilda, she practiced what is known as nuptial mysticism, seeing herself as the Bride of Christ. On November 17, 1301, Gertrude passed away and joined her bridegroom forever. Throughout her life, Gertrude produced numerous writings, though few still exist today. One of her longest surviving works is The Herald of Divine Love. It contains detailed descriptions of Gertrude's visions and a veneration of Christ's heart. Pope Benedict XIV gave her the title, The Great, making her the only woman saint with this title. Although Gertrude was never formally canonized, she is the patroness of the West Indies and is often invoked for souls in purgatory. Her feast day is celebrated November 16th. <laughs>